Welcome back. I will demonstrate the first effect, the revealing pulse now. I have a friend of mine, Anne, joining me. Hi. Hi. Can you please take the deck of cards, shuffle the deck of cards, take a look at them, see if they're normal. And I will try to read your body language signs. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense right now, I know. Perfect. And can you take out any card that you want from the deck, show it to the camera, I won't look, and then hold it against your heart so I can't see. Okay. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Now, and if you put the card on the top now, I know where the card is. Obviously, yeah. But if she cuts the cards, can you please cut the cards in the middle anywhere and complete the card? I don't know where your card is, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's about in the middle, but it gets harder. If you cut one more time, it gets even harder. And if we cut like this, complete the card in any way you want, it's almost impossible for me to know where the card is. Yeah. But you will tell me what your card is with your body, with your body language. Can you give me the right hand? I will take your pulse and just concentrate on your card. Don't give anything away, but I will try to read your pulse. I think it's somewhere here. It's none of those cards. Let me do this again. Um, Yeah, now it's this direction, right now it's this. Uh, okay, a couple of cards left. Let's do this. I think you're, you're thinking of this card, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, Ace of Clubs. Now let's take a look at the explanation of how I did it. You learned the keycard principle and I've used the keycard principle in this effect. And shuffled the deck of cards and she can shuffle. Can you shuffle? I can shuffle. <laughs> and I don't have to do anything. I just have to wait until she's finished. And then we will do the square up action like this. The cards are messy. I will square the deck up and pick the card. I'm picking the two of spades. So I think two of spades, two of spades, two of spades. Then I spread the cards, but you can just let her take any card and she takes it out, holds it against her heart. I'm looking away and I still think two of spades, two of spades. I don't know how, what card she, she picked, but that's not important. I just know that there's two of spades at the bottom. And then I say to her, if you put the deck of, uh, if you put the card on top, I know where the card is. So she puts the card on top and I know where the card is, but if she cuts now, your key card that you remember, the two of spades, is the card that is below her selection. Even if she cuts one more time, or if she cuts like this, that doesn't change anything. You still know where the card is, or where your key card is. And if you spread the deck now, like this, now I'm looking for the two of spades. And I see, ah, the two of spades is there in the spread, and the card right next to it so on the right is her card in this case the seven of hearts right was it yeah. the seven of i didn't yeah. yeah the seven of hearts and then the rest is just presentation i just take her card take her pulse i'm just looking for the two of spades and i say oh i'm reading a body language let me let me see <laughs> and then i just eliminate a few cards and say oh you pulled me in this direction oh you pulled me in this direction and that's kind of the presentation you can make, make up your own presentation but that's what i chose to use and then at the end, I just dramatically reveal the card that she picked, the Seven of Hearts, by using her pulse. And that's all there is to it.